Okay, so now we're on to rockets and missiles. A traditional item, when you think of fireworks, you think of something with a stick, it's gonna fly in the air, it's gonna make a big bang, and, and rockets and missiles provide all that excitement. Let's talk about safety. So with a stick rocket, they can be sometimes a little more unpredictable than a traditional fireworks cake or uh, aerial device like a ball shell or a 60 gram canister. So you wanna make sure you have ample space and even more room to have like a fallout area or an area for the rocket to land where it's clear, clear a brush in any sort of uh, fire hazard and especially away from your, from your audience. Rockets come in all kinds of sizes. You have bottle rockets, we call these China rockets, and then these are what we call the ounce rockets, and they're all gonna perform based on their size. These obviously are not gonna be as exciting, but they're still fun as the ounce rockets are concerned. And then we have a winged base missile. And once again, with these, just like the rockets, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have plenty of clearance. With the missiles, it's imperative that you have a flat surface. If you don't have a flat surface, I really don't recommend shooting these off of grass um, or off of a um, uneven surface. They're, they're not gonna perform, and they actually do become dangerous at that point. With a rocket, you're gonna make sure that you're gonna shoot it out of a tube, and the stick will go inside the tube where the fuse hangs over the edge. It is not recommended, once again, to have any sort of PVC pipe to be used as your tube. It would be preferred to shoot out of a steel tube. That'd be the safest method in a bucket of sand that's usually pretty sturdy or driven well into the ground where it's not gonna have any sort of movement. The problem with the PVC with either shooting a shell out of it or shooting it near any sort of pyrotechnic device is it will turn into shrapnel. It breaks into small pieces. Those small pieces, depending on the energy behind it, become lethal weapons. So PVC and fireworks do not mix. I don't recommend have any sort of PVC anywhere near a fireworks display. So with rockets, the unique thing about a rocket and a missile, it's gonna come back to the ground where a cake device and a ball shell are gonna have minimal type of fallout. We would call that fallout in the industry. So you need, once again, make sure that you are in a clear area because this stick will come back down and possibly come down not burning, but it still could be smoldering. So you wanna make sure you're in a clear area anytime you use a rocket. So disposal with rockets and missiles, it's the same as any other fireworks item. You wanna make sure it is extinguished fully. It's gonna go into a bucket or full trash can of water, let it soak overnight. Then you could dispose of it in your regular trash. Like with any other fireworks item, if it fails to fire, leave it alone. Make sure it's been put out for well, for let's sit for a half hour, however long you feel it's gonna be safe, then put it in the water, then dispose with the regular trash. Always, especially with rockets and other aerial devices, make sure you, that you check with your local authority and state authority to make sure you're shooting legally and enjoying a great celebration. The worst thing you could do is have all these great fireworks and have the police show up or the fire department um, or somebody else. So once again, do your homework first. Make sure that the items that you're gonna be shooting are legal in the jurisdiction that you're gonna be having your fireworks show at.